Hello friends, this is a tutorial for sharing the links of our e-resources, whether the e-resources are on our Google Classroom, it is on the YouTube channel, so we can share our links of the e-resources on the departmental website. To share our e-resources, first of all, we have to log in into our account. So in the Google Chrome, we type as the accounts.google.com and the list of our accounts will be shown here. So we click on our account. And so when we click on our account, we have here nine dots. In this nine dot, we have our drive. So when we click on our drive, in our drive, there will be a folder consisting of the Google Classroom. You can see here, this is the location of our classroom folder. So we can click we can click on this Google Classroom folder. So in this folder, in the Google Classroom folder, we have all the files of our Google Classroom, whatever we have taken. So when we click on any of the Google Classroom, there will be a link generated above in the URL section. So you can copy this link of the Google Classroom, copy this link and Paste the link of the Google Classroom wherever it is required on what, whatever, um, in whichever file folder or wherever you want to paste the link of the Google Classroom. So I have made a PPT and I am putting the link of my Google Classroom here. So always remember that whenever you paste the link, then you have to press a space button or you press an enter so that the text is converted into the link. Otherwise, it will remain as a text. So as you can see here, this is my drive and this is the folder of Google Classroom. So when I click the folder of Google Classroom, you can see here in the URL section. So when I click this link, I can copy the link. When I copy this link and paste the link in, in my document, so this is the link of the Google Classroom. So when I will click this link, my access to all the folders, all the file in the Google Classroom will be accessible. But when I click a particular file in the Google Classroom and select that URL, so then this will this will be the link of a particular classroom in the Google Classroom folder. So as you can see here, this is the text. When I press the space button, it becomes a link. So you can see here, I have pasted two links. The first, the above link is the link of the Google classroom where I can access all the all my Google classrooms in the Google classroom folder where the lower link is the link of a particular class of my Google classroom folder. Now if supposingly I am someone else and I want to access the e-resources of Deepti Goyal. So if I click on this link then the Google Classroom will open up. So it will ask me to log in using my account. So if I log in to a different account, so it will ask an access. So there will be a button here, request access. So when I press the request access, so a mail will be sent to the particulars mail that whether you want to give the permission to that person that he can access to your Google Classroom. So whenever the request is given or the permission is granted, then only he can or she can access into your Google Classroom accounts and they can check your e-resources or whatever you have uploaded in your classroom folders.
similar is the way that uh, if you are giving your youtube account or any other account if you have permission so it will definitely ask for the permission that whether he or she can access to your particular resource and in this way he can access to the google classrooms or the e resources this is the link of the youtube channel you can copy the link of your youtube channel paste it in whatever document you want to get your link to be written so whenever he will click this link the youtube channel will open up and he or she can have to the access to whatever material you have uploaded on your youtube channel. so thank you for watching the tutorial on how to share your e resources for the departmental website thank you